Good morning. My name is Jeff. I'm a knowledge expert at the St. David's Micro Center. I'm going to continue my series of videos involving the Windows 7 Wonders, as I like to call them. This is going to be a three-part series about the amazing Windows Media Center experience that comes with every copy of Windows 7 Home and Ultimate. The wonderful thing about it is you don't have to purchase or subscribe to any special services to get started. If you have videos, pictures, music, anything at all that you want to have on a big screen or as part of an experience, a multimedia experience, Windows 7 Media Center is the way to go. They've streamlined it, simplified it, made it absolutely wonderful. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. I'm going to give you the basics, and then we're going to go into in the next couple of sessions some of the more complex um, add-ons such as Hulu and Netflix and other wonderful things that you can do to turn it into an amazing theater experience. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is show you how absolutely simple and easy this is to set up. It can even be set up on a netbook. A netbook even has the power and capability to be a Windows Media experience. I'm going to start by showing you how to go in there. You start it by hitting Start, go to All Programs, and in All Programs there should be a button called Windows Media Center. As soon as you start it up, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to give you a welcome screen. That welcome screen is going to give you an opportunity to set this up the way you want it to look. All right. Now, welcome to Windows Media Center. Click Continue. You have the express method or the custom method. Custom method, of course, is to set up the very, very particulars of a Windows Media Center. You can set up custom things like plugins for Hulu, online internet, TV, everything like that. But I'm going to give you the simplistic way to set this up so that you can get started right away. Click Express. First thing it's going to do is it's going to search your computer for any content that it can use and set up on your Media Center. Starting with pictures, videos, music, anything that's on your system. It's looking right now and it's setting that up for you. The menu is very simple to use, scrolling up and down. Let's pick um, pictures and videos for instance. I'm going to go to my videos folder by just asking it to go to my video library. Starting with that, searches the computer, finds all the video that exists on my Media Center and gives me an option down here if I, can, if I want to add videos to my library. At home I have a network set of computers and all of them have what's called a home group link where when you first set up Windows 7 they all set themselves up on a home group. Every one of the computers in my, in my house that has a shared folder with videos, music, or pictures on it, this thing will be able to see and add to the video list. So, for instance, I have a folder. I'm going to cancel for now. We can add them later. I have a folder of Space 1999 TV shows. I click on that. I open up my Season 1 folder. There are the videos. I can pick the first one. And Windows Media Center will automatically format the picture to look and feel like a full screen experience. So I don't have to worry about resizing. And there we have it. There's my video. Um, I'm going to stop this for now. So I'm going to go over a couple of other things. For instance, if I want to go back into the Media Center and access, say, music. Now I have a huge folder of music on my computer. The wonderful thing about Windows Media Center is it recognizes tags. It recognizes things such as um, cover art for albums. So I can click on my music library. It's going to take a while to load this because it's a very large library. Here are all my folders on my M drive, which is on the laptop that consists of every music imaginable. Scroll, scroll through, look at the cover art. I can pick such something such as uh, 
Oh, who knows? Um, oh, even better. If I click the search button, Beatles. Ah, I need to learn how to spell. Beatles. There's my Beatles albums. Click on it. Click on it. Automatically plays. I can play the album. I can play individual songs. It's wonderful. It's one of the best experiences you can imagine. If you keep hitting backspace, it'll take you back to the main menus and the indexes. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the best part of this. To turn this into a real media experience, Windows Media Center can display on a full screen such as a TV or in the case today, I'm going to use a wall projector. And it's going to be wonderful. Just wait until you see this. All right. Now, some of you, I'll wager, have laptops that are multimedia capable. Those laptops will come with either a VGA or a, in some cases, an HDMI out connection. My laptop here comes with the VGA connection on this side and an HDMI out on the other. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to my VGA. So you don't have to worry about looking at my little screen any longer. And on the other end of my lap of my VGA cable, I'm going to connect to a projector, the same projector that we use at the in-store clinics at Micro Center. And I'm going to show you the experience from that perspective. Now the other thing that I'm going to do as a wonderful surprise to this experience is I'm going to plug into my laptop what is called a Windows Media Center Remote. We sell these at Micro Center, and they're incredible. It comes with a little dongle, such as this, that will read the remote control signals. Just plug that into a USB port of your laptop. Set it up where the remote control can see it. And now we're going to see the experience like you've never seen it before. I've turned off the lights here so that you can see this experience. I'm going to press the button on my Media Center remote for Start Windows Media Center. The remote control reader will read my remote press and start it up automatically. And there's my media center. It's projected on the wall using my movie projector here. I just scroll through, say, to movies or music. I picked music. But the Windows Media Center remote has a back button. So I'll use the back button, hit stop on the music, scroll to pictures and videos, Scroll to videos, select my music video list, go to my concert folder. I visited the uh, Pink Floyd concert in the Philadelphia Center and took this video. And that's pretty much it. Anything that you want to do that would be considered video, audio, music, or any other experience, all built into the Media Center. And the Media Center remote makes this amazing. Start, stop, rewind, fast forward, scroll, look through credits, anything you want to do. And that right now concludes my first part of the Windows Media Center experience. Stay tuned for the second and third parts which will include setting up Hulu, Netflix, and other plugins. Thank you very much for listening.